Now I'm going to give you Riemann's example of um, of double integration. So uh, so the volume is approximately this thing here. Um, the reason why we're trying to invest our time into learning this is that this thing here, if you understand the mechanics, the mechanics behind this, it will eventually lead you to understand double integration. So dx and dy. So this is very similar to this, and double integration is very similar to uh, double summation. So um, so this is your x-axis, so that's this x-axis here, this is your y-axis. We are trying to find the volume underneath this surface. So this is our surface here, that's our surface. We are interested in this region here. We are interested in this region here. So this this y, y here would correspond to this, and this x here corresponds to this. So we are trying to find this vo volume here, so straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up, so that will that will give us a volume. Our job is to understand, our job is to work out uh, uh, that volume approximately, approximately. So, um, so we need to find dx, so dx would be us getting this whole length, which would be 6, and then cut it up into 3 equal pieces, 1, 2, 3. So cut it up into three equal pieces. So dx is two. So what that means is, this length here is two. This length here is two, two. Not to scale, okay? Because from here is two. From here to here is also two. So it's not to scale. And dy would be us getting this length, which will be two, and then cut up into two e equal pieces. One, two. So um, so dy, de delta y would be one. So this is our delta y. So this length here is 1. 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 Delta x is 2. Delta x is 2. Delta x is 2. 2, 2, 2. So now um, now the volume is given, it's approximately this thing here. So when you look at this, it's really a summation nested inside another summation. So when j is 1, this is going to, this here, ev thereafter, when j is 1, everything in here will be, all the j's will be 1. And then this, all the i's here was, will loop around 3 times, will loop around 3 times. So when j is 1, so when j is 1, when j is 1, um, when j is 1, everything in here now will be, all the j's in here now will be 1. And then all the i's will loop around 3 times, 1 two three so um so this thing here is our location so hang on so when when j is one i the first one would be i would be one so what that means is the first location is one 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 so what that means is this the first location would be one across and then one up so this is our first location so um so this is our first location what is that location there well it would be well from here to here is two Delta x is two, so the y, the uh, the x location will be four. So the x location will be four. This is our x location. Um, so this is our first point here, but we need to know the y location because um, we are working with um, w our domain is in the x y plane. So we need the the y location. Well, the y location would be well from here to here is one. And then delta y is 1, so the y location would be 2. So the y location would be 2. So this thing here is really just a location. It's just a location. Then we would put that location. So this location here corresponds to, to this point here. Now, now you, you would put that uh, location into the function. Put it into the function here. This is your x this is your y, then the whole thing here will be 39. So what that means, when when you put it into the uh, the function, it will jump to the surface. So you can imagine this as, as having a height of 39. So, um, so this has a height of 39. And remember, y, uh, i gets incremented by 1, so the next one will be i equals 2. So this will be 2, 1, 2, 1. So what does that mean? So what that means is this, hang on. You start here, 2, 1, 2 across, 1, 2, 1 up. So so now we are currently here. Previously we were here. 
So, so as you can see that when i equals 1, you are looping once, twice, three times. And then when i gets incremented, or when j gets incremented by 1, then it's going to loop around three times again. Well, anyway, we are currently here. We are currently here. So that point there corresponds to i being 2. So that, that location there is this location here. Okay, so this location here, this location here is right is right here and here. So uh, so this is just a location and that location ha happens to be 6 comma 2 because it's it's um, from here to here is 2, from here to here is 2, from here to here is 2. So the x location would be 6 and the the height the uh, the y location would be 2. So that's that's why our location is currently 6 comma 2. So that so this point here this location here corresponds to this point here. Then we would put it into the function. Then we would put six comma two. We would put six into the x. This is our y here. Put into the y. This whole thing here would be seventy nine. So what that means is we are currently at this location, which corresponds to this location put into the function it would jump to the surface so now this has a height of um, what was it 70 79 it has a height of 79 so that's a height and then the and then i gets incremented by 1 so now the last location would be here would be here and then put this location into the function it would jump to the surface so now you've got three heights three heights so what that means is this. Um, what that means is this. Hang on. What that means is this is your height here. So we've got our three heights here. So remember, um, this is being looped around three times. So this is our height here. This is our height here. This is our height here. So what we've got is we've got the first height. We've got the first height. We've got the second height. We've got a third height, and then and then if you look at this, um, if you look at this, if you look at this, we got to get the height and multiply it with the uh, the width. So we we're going to get the height, multiply with delta x. Um, that will then give us this. You get the height. You get the height, and then you multiply it with delta x. That will then give you an area of this thing here, seventy eight. And then, and then looking at this, so so it loops around again. What uh, it loops around again? So you've got to get the height times this, and then it loops again, and then you've got to get this times this. Basically, you're really summing up all three areas. You're really summing up all three areas. Well, the area of this is 158. The area of the last one would be 270. So, so when you when you look at this whole quantity here meaning these three strips these three strips here so remember it's 2d it's like three strips of paper it's in, it's in 2d there's no depth to it and it has a, an area of um, 506 so what that means is this thing here this thing here has an area for for the first for i for the first uh, row where i where j equals 1 so this is really the area of three strips okay and then now we need to um, we need to increment oops hang on so we've done for j equals one now we need to to increment it by one so we are we need to look at the second row so uh, last time it was one two three we've done that already so now we need to look at these three so um, that will be in the next video I will continue in the next video so in the next video we will start with j equals 2. We will need to start with j equals 2. Okay?